In light of Canada's recent recreational marijuana legalization and also Colorado's legalization, we are reviewing a beer with a funny, with a funny, a funny, funny name. Let's get into it, guys. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is Hot Box Coffee Porter from Osaka Blues Brewery in Colorado, United States of America. This is the can. Black, green, white. Very, uh, very, you know, cannabis colors. So we're going to remove some of this stuff over. Just, just some, just some fun, fun little props and whatnot. We got a lighter, some filter tips, papers, and yeah, this hot box coffee porter is coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, and an unlisted IBUs. Nothing listed here on the can. On the website, though, it is showing it coming in at 30 IBUs. So let's crack this hot box beer open and let's see what we got. I'm gonna pour some water out of my glass. I just rinsed. We're gonna pour this up right about now. Put my half in so that I can enjoy the other half after the review. Looking at the beer, it is fairly, fairly dark in color. Nice mocha head on there as well. Not too much, not too little. Just about right. Everything's all right. Let's have a smell. Oh, big chocolate coffee molasses. Some nuttiness as well. Roasted nuts. Mmm, but heavy molasses. Nice milk chocolate. A little bit of dark chocolate. Nice little coffee. Mmm, like a cafe mocha. Just like a cafe mocha with some nice, ooh, mm, nice biscuity sort of flavors or, uh, or whatever. You know those digestive cookies with the chocolate on one side? A little bit of that going on. That smells quite delightful. So let's have a sip, see what we got. Ooh, ooh, that is really sweet. That's actually a perfect sweetness. Sweet milk chocolate, mm, molasses, moving into a black coffee finish, and also accompanied with a beautiful, beautiful, sweet, nice dessert biscuity sweetness as well. Wow, <clears throat> that is that is right on the money as terms of sweetness goes, because a lot of porters and stouts, especially ones that are you know chocolatey or in this case coffee. Some of them can, very, uh, can be very sweet, super sweet. Uh, a little too much if you ask me. But this right on the money, holy hell. Cheers everybody, let's keep on drinking. Mmm. That's really nice. Holy fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Hoo wee. That's a really, wow, that's a really nice beer. Oh. Wow. Um, mouthfeel. Medium to medium heavy. I would say more medium mouthfeel, medium body. Nice and creamy, nice and thick, but not anything super, I guess what uh, what my parents would say would be motor oily. <clears throat> sure looks like it, <clears throat> but definitely not as thick. As one would may think. Very, very nice. Oh, I really like that beer. Holy hell. Nice bit of bitterness right in the finish with that black coffee. Mmm, perfect. Moving over to the can now. Turn your head and coffee. Hot box coffee porter. Brewing can by Osaka Blue, uh, Blues Brewery in Colorado, U.S. of A. <clears throat> 355ml can, 6.5% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. And on the back... Is there a description? No. 
Uh, but we do have just uh, ingredients. Water, barley malt, wheat, coffee, hops, and yeast. Yes, there is no cannabis in this beer. If anybody's wondering, sorry, got to disappoint you there. Pack it in, pack it out. Oh, that's for recycling. Porter with hot box roasters, cold brew coffee added. Very, very nice. Government morning, you know, don't drink and drive, don't drink when you're pregnant, all that fun stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They're out of uh, Longmont, Colorado. Very, very nice. But Porter with hot box roasters, cold brew coffee. So hot box must be, well, seems to be the roastery, which is very, very nice. On the bottom. Canned on 091018. So that was um, ba -ba 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 -ba, 09, 9th of uh, what's the month? October. 9th of October 2018. Very, very nice. Easy to read, brood on date. I just can't figure out numbers and, and months that they correspond. You know what I mean? Now what am I doing? Nothing. I'm just being silly. Great beer, though. Tremendous. Move that there. Moving over to the website now. Oh, it's not so soccer. What the hell? Oscar. It's Oscar Blues. It's it's a weird little um, font that they use, so I, I kind of really screwed that up. It's Oscar Blues Brewery. Sorry, I'm, I'm very deeply sorry. But we have a description here. The beer. This porter showing it coming at 6.4% ABV, so 0.1% different. That is not the end of the world. 30 IBUs. is based on massive malt flavors of roasted nut, creme brulee, cocoa, and caramel extract from English and German roasted and caramel malts. Hot box roasters then crash the party and infuses potent cold brew coffee from beans sourced from South America that deals out flavors and aromas of dark plums, chocolate, and tobacco. Now, I don't really get the tobacco or the dark plums, but I do get the chocolate, which is delicious. And I think that's really cool. I'm trying two different companies from the States all in one single beer. So cheers to that. Cheers to trying new things. But no, I don't get any tobacco. And I have been... A, uh, a smoker for a mm, decent amount. Not something I'm super proud of, but something to note. Don't really get the tobacco. Finally, moving over to Untapped, Hot Box Coffee Porter has been given a 3.85 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of, wow, just under 49,000 ratings. So, very, very nice indeed. Very nice beer. Beautiful beer. Now, this is a solid porter. Between porters and stouts, I'm definitely more of a stout guy. There's really not much of a difference between the two. Um, but there are some very different subtleties. But that said, guys, cheers in the final sip. Let's go read to ratings. Wow. Very smooth, very creamy. But not heavy, which is nice. That's a good thing. It's not super heavy, it's not super thick. Great flavor, great sweetness, just right on the edge of almost too much, but I think they hit it right on the money. Between the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, the molasses, just, mmm, wow, it is damn, damn, damn delicious, and I'm very, very proud I could hotbox this video. <laughs> but with that said, hotbox uh, coffee pour gets a solid... It's a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. Absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm a big fan for sure. And I found this at only one LCBO down on Queen Street East. Uh, this is something that I really like about LCBOs. But I also hate is that each one has a little bit of different stock. And that's fine. That's great. Because it gives you variety of where you go. But if you can't find one at your LCBO. And there is one but that LCBO is far yonder. You kind of. It kind of SOL on that end, but still very, very nice. As for presentation of the can, I love the can design. Very, you know, bright green and deep blacks. Very, very nice. Looks pretty busy, but still nothing, uh, nothing too, too crazy. 
Uh, ABV's listed. That's before brewed on days listed. That's perfect. Ingredients, perfect. All that's really missing is a description and IBUs off the can. Not the end of the world, but still something I would like to see in the future. As far as website goes, very, very nice. Big description here. IBUs are also listed. All that's really missing there on this point is any additional information like malts, hops, yeasts that were used. Obviously, no, there were English, uh, English and German you know, caramel malts, which are nice, but no real other uh, description. But I do like the fact that they uh, say what kind of the cof- what kind of coffee it was, at least where the coffee was from, being South America. So that's very nice to see as well. Overall, great, uh, great packaging for sure. It deserves a solid seven out of ten, just because it's lacking a bit of information. But seven out of ten for presentation. With all that said, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mei Peruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mei Peruski, and like I always say, crack beer and enjoy. Cheers.